Menace, did you watch the game last night? Uh, no, I went to bed. <laughs> Y'all are all better than I am because I'm tired today because I stayed up and watched. The Menace had to get his rest because he knew yeah. his shift was going to be busy today. You're yeah. tracking something on the radar that we've not seen in a while. Uh, yeah, beneficial rain for a lot of us, and that's really the story there. As for the, I, you know, I got to support the Cowboys anyway, but I had to go to bed last night. <laughs> You're going to get that sleep. <laughs> that's right. Uh, look outside over uh, Fort Worth. You'll see that we have some showers out there. This is a look at our first alert weather headlines. Uh, grab your umbrella. We have daily rain and storm chances on the way. Uh, some of the rain could be heavy at times. We're also tracking some cooler temperatures as we go through the week. Now, uh, you'll see the numbers right there at 70 degrees. I want you to understand that as we go through the next several days, no day will be a complete washout. And if you don't see rain in your neighborhood today, there will be other opportunities as we go through the week. So about a 50% chance on your Wednesday, a 70% chance on Thursday, and back to 50% into Friday. Even Saturday features a couple showers and thunderstorms. On first alert radar right now, we are tracking some wet weather in the area. I want you to see over the past couple of hours, these showers as they're approaching the I-35 corridor, they're kind of dissipating just a bit, okay? Have a little redevelopment, though, with some showers in Palo Pinto County and parts of even, you know, you'll see it right there, parts of even Jack County there. Overall, though, we're going to call that rain chance about 30 to 40 percent for our viewing area for much of the morning into the afternoon. So a majority of our viewing area won't see steady rainfall today. But you'll have other opportunities. Look at First Alert Futurecast. It's doing an okay job with some of the rain right now. As we look ahead into how about 1130 this morning toward the lunchtime hour, we'll still see some showers trying to cross over that I-35 corridor to the east. Uh, but we'll call the rain chance pretty slim overall, 30 to 40 percent. And then once we go into the mid-afternoon, not as much rain. Now later tonight, that's toward 10 and 10:30. We'll likely have another round of some heavier showers and some thunderstorms that will last overnight into early in the morning. That's the forecast at 115. So there may be some showers around the Metroplex that we may be hearing. You might hear some thunder and, and see some lightning out the window as you're heading off to bed, or it might wake you up. I hope it doesn't. All right. Temperatures at noon at 78, 85 degrees toward 4 o'clock this afternoon. And as we look ahead from now until at least Friday, some areas will see more rain than others, but our forecast models are saying that some communities could see between two and three inches of rain. And that could be a concern because we haven't had that much rain. At least it's over an extended amount of time instead of just one day. Uh, but still, you'll see here there will be waves of rainfall for tomorrow into Wednesday. Also for your Thursday and likely into Friday, we'll have waves of rainfall. So those will be some healthier opportunities for us. And then the temperatures will respond. How about the upper 70s for highs into your Thursday? Your first alert 7 day forecast shows the rainfall chances along with the temperatures. Again, 79 for Thursday, about 81 for Friday. We'll be around 84 for Saturday and around 87 degrees with partly cloudy skies on Sunday.